So in this video, I'm gonna show you the quick and easy steps to updating the firmware of your digital camera. Now, if you've gotten this far, you probably already know what firmware is, but basically it's just like a software update, just like you have for your computer, for your phone, updates periodically for all kinds of things, bug fixes, things like that. So we're gonna update the firmware for the Canon EOS R5 and you'll see uh, when you go online, it gives you the firmware update, gives you a list of all of the things, all of the changes in that current firmware update. Just so you know, if you haven't updated the firmware in a while, there's been a few in between, don't worry about it. The latest firmware update always includes all of the previous ones. So download and load the latest one to your camera, you'll always be totally up to date. So we're gonna jump to the computer, I'm gonna show you how we do it. Basically what you need to start out with is you're gonna start out with the memory card reader or however it is that you attach your memory card to your computer, you're gonna to need to do that because basically you're gonna take the firmware update from your computer, you're gonna load it onto your memory card, and then you're gonna take the memory card from there and put it back into your camera and then update it in your camera. Real simple and easy, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here on the computer, you're gonna plug your memory card into the computer, make sure that it's there, there it is, EOS Digital, and you're gonna to go to the Canon website, here it's canonusa.com, and there's a few different ways to get there, but if you go to drivers and downloads and find your product type, in this case, camera, and you're gonna to go to EOS and Rebel Digital Cameras under EOS R and EOS R5. In this case, you're gonna to go to drivers and downloads, you're gonna to go to firmware, and then it gives you a list here of all the previous firmware updates, including the most recent one, which is December 2nd, 2021. Gives you the Windows or the Mac option. And under that, you've got driver software details. If you click on that, you'll see all of the changes, improvements, fixes, everything that are being made by this firmware update. And if you keep scrolling down, all the previous firmware updates also. Click off I have read and agreed and click download. Now this is gonna go directly to your downloads folder, wherever that is on your computer. Only takes about 10 seconds or so. And now you're gonna have a DMG file. You're gonna to need to unzip or unpack that DMG file. And depending on what kind of computer you have, like here on the Mac, it's over here on the left-hand side. You can also close this and find it on the desktop. Here it is here. If you double click on this, now this is gonna give you the files that you wanna to copy to your memory card. It's got an update procedure PDF folder and it's got a file called EOS R5 150, it's uh, firmware version 1.5.0, and it needs to end in a .fir. That's the file that you really need for your firmware update. So you're gonna take both of these, and you're gonna copy these over to your memory card. Now you can drag them over, copy them over, however you like to do it. I like to copy, and you're just gonna copy it right onto this basic folder here. You don't wanna put it in any of these subfolders. So it's sitting right there on your memory card. You're gonna eject your memory card, and then we'll go right into the camera. Okay, from here, the memory card is going to go right back into the camera. All right, and in your menus, you're going to go to the little wrench. Down at the bottom of the last section here, you have the firmware. Click on that. It, right now, it says camera is version 1.1.1. Click on that, and it says current firmware version is 1.1.1. Update firmware, and you're going to click OK. Firmware update program loading. Please select a new firmware version. Current version is 1.1.1. We want the EOS R5150.fir. That's the file that we just loaded. So you're going to click on set. It's going to ask you one more time. Are you sure you want to update? You hit OK and you wait. Okay, and update complete. I'm probably about five to ten minutes past this, so you want to make sure that your battery is full or fairly full before you start this. You hit OK. Power it off and back on again, but you also want to make sure you turn it off. Turn it back on and then go back into your menus to make sure that your firmware is version 1.5.0. And now you are completely updated. So that was real quick and easy. Always nice to keep your software, firmware in this case, totally up to date. This way you're not missing out on any new technology. Uh, you're not, you, any bugs that are in the system may have been corrected. So always keep your firmware up to date. It's definitely a good idea. If you have any questions or anything, put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.